For those that have been rocking with this channel for a while, you already know one thing that will not be tolerated in prison is disrespect. And one way to disrespect someone is to cut them in the child hall line. For this video, I'm going to be letting y'all know situations that I went through that had to do with the child hall line being cut by other individuals who didn't want to wait their turn to hit that window to get their tray. So y'all sit back and tune in, man. Ha <laughs> ha, Dom the best, finna be this way till I EOS Take it how you want, nigga, yeah, I'm a pro Fuck around, I'll bust your lot while you're at Vizzo I hate to be this way, but I live for the moment Waking up every day, show me an opponent Shanks on deck, hitting bitches with locks So much pool, I can even start you from the box You don't wanna pay rent, got me bent Got lax on deck, your money was well spent Vultures on the prowl, so don't try testing Step two, cause violent first steps, finessing You a hold down man, suitcase this My cell phone and my charger don't walk with a limp Get it knocked off or missing, you gon' get it Next time I see you ass, you gon' leave airlifted What's up, y'all? You already know, man. K-Fraud TV back in the building. Y'all go ahead and do me that solid favor. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And also make sure you hit that notification bell so you can see it first. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, I'm going to be talking about cutting that chow hall line. All right? Y'all know what chow is. Y'all know what the chow hall is. Chow is the food. Chow hall is where you eat it at. Okay? Whether you find yourself in a jail or you find yourself inside a prison, when you get fed a meal, nine times out of ten, they're going to call it chow. All right? Now... You never want to disrespect nobody in prison unless you're ready to rock out to the fullest and take it as far as they will. Because you're going to have some people that are going to take something way farther than you are expecting them to. Especially inside of prison. You feel me? Now, when it comes to cutting that child hall line, I ain't going to lie. Down here in Broward County, I've seen people cut the line many a times inside of the county jail. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got more than one jail down here in Broward. So... Every jail I've been to, I've seen certain individuals cut the line, you know, and I actually got myself at a fade over the line one time, which I'll get to that in a moment. But as far as in prison, totally different ball game, ladies and gentlemen, totally different ball game. All right. Now, when you do something to someone in prison, it ain't, it ain't even got to be directly towards them. It could just be towards the people around them or it could be towards someone that's doing the same thing as them. Like waiting in the line, you understand? You could be way at the back of the line and someone walk all the way past y'all and cut the whole line. You know, normally the only person who would say something is the person who was next. You feel me? In prison, it's totally different, man. There's respect. You know, there's, there's a lot of respect and I'm going to tell you why. You feel me? Because people know, is it really worth getting stabbed over cutting someone in the child hall line? Think about it. Is it really worth it? It ain't like they're going to run out of food. I mean, I know on chicken day, if you don't, you know, hit that window quick enough, they run out and they give you fucking hot dogs instead or patties instead, you know, but is it really worth getting wet up over? Some people just, you know, it, it don't be a, a, an intentionally disrespect thing that they're doing. You know, some people might be in a rush, you know, they might just be trying to do something before, you know, the, you know, they might have some shit going on to where they're just trying to hurry up and hit that child hall boom and get up out of there. Or they might know, oh, this officer's sweet. If I hurry up and hit right now, boom, and go sit down and eat my tray, they ain't going to peep game, and I'll be able to get in again and get a second tray. You feel me? So a lot of times when people do it, they ain't doing it to, you know, actually disrespect no one, but it is taken as disrespect. Like one time when I was in the county jail, I was in Conti down here in Broward County, Joseph E. Conti, and we're all standing in line waiting for them to do chow. Now, as we're standing there, next thing you know, these two people want to walk by and they think they're all tough and big badasses or whatever. And they want to walk by all of us and go to the front of the line and grab their chair and go sit down. So out of me and the, I'd say 17 to 20 people that was in front of me closer to the window than I was, who you think said something? Me. I said, man, y'all got me fucked up, bro. Y'all finna wait in line next time. That's, that's what I said, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't even the next person in line. You feel me? I was way at the back of my damn self. But it was just the principle to where it's like, here I'm letting these people slide, you know? Like, I feel like we all should have said something. You know, that's how I look at it. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm going to keep it real and I'm going to say it myself. So I said it to him. And he's like, oh, what you saying, white boy? And I said, man, y'all ass finna bitch. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just, you cut everybody. You feel me? Even though I wasn't next in line, you know what I'm saying? Shit, I'm sitting here waiting. You don't see me cutting people. He's like, oh, so what you trying to do? You trying to fight about it? I said, it's whatever. I don't give a fuck. You feel me? That's exactly what I said. And then I walked off, you know. Later on that day, I'm, I'm on the phone talking to my peoples. 
dude come up, he, he tapped me on the shoulder, right, while I'm on the phone with my people. I'm thinking he's just saying, oh, uh, who got after you on the phone, or can I get next, blah, 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 blah. But I already know there's people behind me already waiting, because in our county jail, when you're in Conti and shit, you know, people claim their phone, like... You know, like they'll get behind you in line and they'll say, hey, bro, I got after you. And then when they go sit down and wait, you know, someone might go up to them. Hey, you next in line, you last in line, try to figure out where the line is. And they might be like, oh, I'm waiting for this phone or I'm waiting for that one over there. You know, shit like that. You feel me? They, they, they got separate lines for each phone. So when bro tapped me, you feel me? You know, I was on the phone like this and I had just pointed at bro who was behind me. You know, like who's got next like that. And he's like, man, I ain't waiting for the phone, bro. He's like, oh, you might as well slide. I said, all right, say no more. So, boom, I'm talking on the phone and shit. Waited till my phone call was done. I go in there, boom. I walk inside the cell. Bro, in his fucking, you know, gym shorts. No shirt and shit. He's got a uh, washcloth, like what you bathe with. He's got one wrapped around each hand. Like he finna paint me. You feel me? That, that, you know what I'm saying? So, I go in there. And I'm like, you know, it is what it is. So, I throw my set up. We go in there. We start fighting. Did I win? Did I lose? I know that's what everybody's going to want to know. Did he whoop you, bro? Did you whoop him? And I'm going to be dead honest with y'all. It was a tie. It was a straight tie. And I say that because neither one of us, like, manhandled anybody. Neither one of us got manhandled, you know. And through it all, it was just like a dead-ass draw, you know. Like, I hit him like seven times. He hit me like seven times. You feel me? And we ended up being, like, pretty cool after that, but... We didn't really fuck with each other. We just, there was a, it was a drawn line of respect, you know. And he would clown and tell people, all right, that white boy right there finna whoop you now. He whooped me one time, just joking. You feel me? And then I do the same shit, you know, clowning and shit, you know. But, but at the end of the day, it was a respect thing that came with cutting in line, you see. So I got experience from actually bumping someone over them cutting in the line. You know, I've never gotten a fight over me cutting someone in the line because I know shit, you gotta wait. It is what it is. Wait your turn. You feel me? And once I ended up fighting that dude over cutting me, or cutting all of us inside the fucking line in jail, you know, it, it, it showed that white boy right there is going to, you know, speak up for what is right. I'm, he's, he's not dumb. You know, he's not slow. He isn't going to turn his shoulder or turn his head at a certain situation when he feels tried. And that's basically what it was. I felt tried that they cut all these motherfuckers and I was one of them. You feel me? And I ended up getting in a fade over that shit. You feel me? Now, when I went to prison, totally different ball game. People wasn't cutting the line like that because they know they finna get wet over that shit. Now, you have some people that are like in line, you know, talking and shit with their homeboys and shit. And then you might have someone that like, if they take too long to go, they're going to be like, man, go. And they walk around them and shit like that. And then it'll probably cause a little commotion and shit. But you dead ass ain't got nobody that's just walking in. At least any of the institutions I've been at. I've never seen someone just walk in and cut the whole line and go in. You know what I'm saying? I've never seen it personally. I don't see them doing that. You know what I'm saying? And if they did do that, then everybody who's in line knows them or is cool with them and didn't feel no type of way when they cut them, you know? So if it does go down like that, then they know who's in that line. They know who they're trying or that person don't even feel tried by them doing that. You feel me? But you're not finna just walk in and not know nobody and just walk in and get to the front of that line and be like, oh, this is what it is. Because nine times out of ten, you're going to get a knife put in you. Straight up. Because you think about it, man. I'm sitting here. I got a waiting line, bro. I'm sweating. You feel me? I'm waiting. I'm hungry. My stomach's growling. And then you just come in this motherfucker like you got shit all figured out. And you just walk right by like it ain't nothing to cut us. Hell no. Nah, I'm saying something. Straight up. I don't give a fuck if I was 20th in line or, or definitely if I was at the window. If I'm at the window going to grab my tray and you come up there and you try to cut me and grab that bitch, I'm knocking that bitch out of your hand. Straight up. We're going to get into something right then and there. That simple. Either you're going to want to bump or you're going to take flight or you're going to check in or you're going to think about it, go get your knife or whatever you want to do. But I'm not going to just let you insult me directly. See, I feel like if I was first in line and you came and did that, I feel like you're intentionally disrespecting me. You know, when I'm 20th in line, you walk by everybody, you know, even though I'm still being disrespected, I know it wasn't intentionally towards me. You know, it wasn't like you, a hey, frog, you, bro, you, that one right there. No, there was no address on it, but I happen to be one of the few that are in line. You feel me? But if I'm up there at that window and you try that shit, boy, you better be ready because win, lose, or draw, bitch, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to smack that shit out of your hand and whatever you do from there is how it's going to rock out. You feel me? That's... Something people take serious when it comes to, you know, wanting respect in prison. You know, that line inside the chow hall. But it isn't just the chow hall line now, okay? I'm going to speak a little bit on how it is in the canteen window line as well. 
Y'all know canteens where you go, you get your chips, your snacks, your fucking food, your drinks, whatever you want. You know, in the county jail, they call it commissary, but in prison, they call it canteen. Every camp I've been to, boy, your ass got to stand out there in the hot bacon ass sun and wait to hit that canteen window. So you think about it. That's even worse than standing in a chow hall line. Boy, you out there in the fucking sun like a piece of bacon on an oven rack. You feel me? Just sitting there. Shh. You feel me? Just sitting there fucking getting all crispy. You feel me? And then all of a sudden, someone's going to just walk up and cut the line. Hell no. You must have fucking woke up and forgot you was in prison or forgot that K-Frogs happens to be in this line. For real. Because that shit ain't going to fly like that. You know? And sometimes... It gets you in a dangerous situation because in prison you have your ID. Your ID is like your, your black card. You know, that's what your money's on and shit like that. So when you want to hit the canteen window, you feel me? You swipe your card. You know, you go up to the window, boom, swipe. And there's thousands of people a day, thousands of people a day, you know, that stand in line for no reason because they don't know if their money's on there or not. You know, so... They try to crack down on people waiting in line for no reason because then it makes the line twice as long if only half of them have money. Because everyone's going to want to hit the canteen window hoping they have money, you see? So they try to crack down to where, you know, instead of it being one long line of everybody, they try to separate it at some institutions to where this is a card check and this is the canteen window line. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of times when you go towards the canteen window, There'll be a whole line of people, and it might not even be your dorm. It could be people you don't even know. You don't want to wait in that line, and then your card not have shit on it, or your card be deactivated, or whatever it may be. So you're going to be like, hey, bro, I could hit my card real quick. You got to basically mention it to, like, the first couple people, you know what I'm saying? And the first dude might be like, yeah, go ahead. Now, everybody behind him is supposed to feel some type of way, because if you're next in line after the dude that's first, and you let someone cut you, well, bitch, I'm cutting you then. You just let him take your spot, basically. Just because you knew, bro, doesn't mean you let him go in front of you at the front of the line. Because now you're making the line longer. That's another way that could be taken is disrespect. You see what I'm saying? Like, hell no, nah, bro. How you could just tell, bro, he can go before you, bro? You don't see me? Man, I'm behind you, bro. Now I'm third in line. Instead of second, man, you got me fucked up. And go around. And then the next dude going to probably do the same thing, same thing. Because now wherever, as he's getting pushed back from being next in line, he's getting pushed back because everybody's cutting him now because he let the first dude skip. Now, you know, whoever it stops on, like, that don't cut him, they're going to look pie. So now it's going to just, he's going to keep getting pushed back. There's going to be like six, seven, eight people until someone just stands there and ain't worried about, oh, you can stay right here where I'm at. And then it's a dead issue. But now they look soft because they didn't cut him like everyone else did. You see? So you can't just say, oh, yeah, go ahead, bro. You know, you dead ass. Like, if I was next in line and someone come up, hey, bro, I just got to get a car check, bro. I don't know if my money's on there or whatever. I'm going to be like, man, I'm going to be real with you, boy. You better ask everybody in line. Straight up. That's how it is. You feel me? Now, I've let my dog slide sometimes and shit like that. I'm not going to say I have it. But a lot of times, I won't do it just because it'll put me in a situation. You know, it'll put me in a bad you know, type of shit that can go down. Because I'm, like, giving him the green light to skip the whole line. And then you got people that ask to get a card check, and when that shit's on, they'll be like, all right, bro, so let me get uh, such and such and such, and they'll disrespect you. You let them hurry up and slide and get a card check. The whole line might be like, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. And then even though they respected, you know, the, the line enough to ask them, and the whole line was like, yeah, go, they'll decide to still hit the canteen when they see the money's on there. And now they're sitting there loading up and everything. Now you just tried that whole line that... Said, yeah, go ahead, bro, no problem. Because they know a card check is just they scan it, beep, and then they tell you what's on there. They give you a receipt. So you got to be on your P's and Q's. You can't just let nobody cut you. You feel me? It don't matter if it's the canteen line. It don't matter if it's the chow hall line. It don't matter if you're in fucking medical. It don't matter if you're in line to hit the water fountain. It don't matter if you're in chapel and you're waiting to get a fucking Bible or something from them. You, it don't matter what it is. You don't just let somebody cut you in line. That's very highly disrespectful you know what i'm saying and you got to stand up for yourself you got to make it known like bitch this ain't happening i don't give a damn we in the church and i ain't supposed to be cursing boy your fuck ass ain't cutting me we'll be cursing and all in there i'm just being real you see that's how you got to do it that's how you got to carry yourself because once one person cuts you everyone else even though they're not going to lock it in their head oh i could cut him anytime i want in line they're going to see that and they're going to sense that and they're going to actually shave points off of your face card for that they're going to be like, oh, I thought he was a gangster. He just let bro walk up straight, take that trade. That was meant for him. 
You see? And then what if bro walks in front of you and grabs a tray and that bitch was weefy? What if that was a big ass tray? That shit looked like it had double on there. And then the next one you grab, it's skimp. Now it looked like he just took your tray. You got a skimp one, boy. That, that, that big tray was meant for you. You see? That's why, boy, that shit don't fly like that. You know what I'm saying? And you have some people that will, like at work camps and, and people who try to put down and act like rah, 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 like they the fucking gorilla of the yard and all that. You got some people that'll probably do that and get away with it at certain places. You feel me? But that's only because everybody they did it to is pie. You know what I'm saying? But you get one person in there, one knucklehead or one wise person who senses the situation, who could tell, hey, bro, he disrespected me too, bro. You feel me? I guarantee you, bro, that shit stops. The, the, the line gets drawn right there. Because you think about it. Say I'm 10th in line, right? I'm 10th in line. The next 10 trays that come out, the 10th one's mine, right? Now, what happens if bro cut the line, boom, and he got a fucking, and he, and he got a tray. He cut everybody else, right? Now, when it comes up, boy, everybody getting chicken, 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 chicken. So, when it comes to frog, boom, I grab my shit. It's hot dogs. I'm going to be like, oh, hell nah, bro, right? Now I feel like bro just took my piece of chicken. If you think about it, if they didn't let him cut, I would have got the last piece of chicken. person behind me would have got hot dogs because they ran out. But instead, I got stuck with the hot dogs because someone cut the line and nobody said nothing. You see? So I'm going to say something. Regardless. It don't matter if a motherfucker could whoop me. I'm still going to say it. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have to rock out. We're going to have to do what we got to do. At the end of the day, I'm not going to just let someone cut the line in front of me, bro. It, it ain't going to happen like that. Because I'm going to feel like you're disrespecting me. Because it is disrespectful. Just like looking in someone's cell when you walk by their shit. You don't want to just look in someone's shit. Like, bro, what you sightseeing, bitch? What you shopping for? Ain't you, 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 is something in here belong to you? Is anything in here yours? Do you own anything in this motherfucker? Why are you looking in my, my spot? You see what I'm saying? There's certain things that you ain't finna get away with. You know, I know you see in movies and shit, people will walk into the chow hall and shit and just snatch someone's tray or walk it, cut the line. You know, it's different things like that. Real life, it don't go down like that. It doesn't. It, it can happen and it, and it has before and it's possible, but it isn't happening all the time. You better respect that chow hall line if you want to come home with your face, you know, clean. Otherwise, you might come home with a scar here, fucking scar here, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? All because you decided to cut someone aside the chow hall. Because like I said, you can make it to where someone's not getting the meal that they're supposed to get. You feel me? Now, look at it this way. You know, people normally inside of the chow hall, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll do a knock on the wall to let people on the other side of the wall inside, the, you know, on the line inside of the actual kitchen. The ones that are working the line, putting the food on the trays and shit and pushing it down so they can go out the flat. You'll knock on the wall and that'll let people back there know what number in line you are. So if you knock six times, pat, 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 you know, like that, they'll know, okay, the six tray, boom, 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 to make that six tray a weefy ass tray. So imagine you did that, and then all of a sudden, boom, the first one comes out, the second one comes out, some dude comes in, some dude comes in, boom, cuts the line. You know, you might be talking to one of your homeboys, you don't peep it, you know, and then they let him cut or something, he gets a tray, boom. Now the dude in front of you finna get a big old hefty ass tray, and you gonna get some small shit. So now it's on you to be like, oh, bro, that's my tray. Now, you, now it looks like you're trying someone because once you get close to that window, you're going to peep them shits that are coming out there. You go, so you're going to be able to tell the difference if hey, that bitch got one scoop of mashed potatoes or three scoops of mashed potatoes. You're going to be able to tell that that's supposed to be my tray. You feel me? So now you're going to have to call bro out in front of you like, oh, that's me. And then he's going to look at it like, oh, hell nah. And now you and him are going through it. In all reality, that was your dog on the other end that you, you did the little knock for so he knows to hook you up. And so the tray was meant for you, but it came out out of order due to the fact that they let someone skip. You see? Think about it. That, that Shit like that can go down. So now I got to look like an asshole and I got to look like a dickhead by trying, bro. Like, oh, this me, bro. Now it looks like I'm trying to cut him and skip him for the big tray. Like, let me get that. But in all reality, you know, it, it, he was in the right line, you know, and it just, it just fell like that. See, so it, it like, it, it shortens the, the, the conflict rate if you weren't to let people skip at all, because you never know what can happen, how it could come out, you know what I'm saying? And 
and you find yourself in situations, now you got to try the man in front of you over that tray because it's supposed to be yours. Then he feels like he's in the right and he's going to feel like, oh, bro, try to try me because my tray was fat. Da, 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 and this and that. Oh, nah, bro, what you mean, bro? My, bar, da, 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 my doll's uh, supposed to send it out here for me. Blah, blah, blah. You know, then you put people in your game room. Then the officer's going to hear you arguing. Then the officer might find out and then peep how big the tray is. Like, you can't make no conflict right there over how fat a tray is because then the guard will grab that bitch, throw it in the trash, and go right in there and start yelling at everybody on the line. That's it. And then the, the kitchen staff will sit there and look, who put that tray out there? When they see how much they did, now they're going to get the people that work inside there in trouble. And now it looks like you dirtied your face. You got bro in trouble. You see? So it's like, it turns in the shit. Bro skips the line. Now you're getting into with this dude about, that's supposed to be your tray because you knocked on the thing. So now, boom, you and him are getting into it over the shit. So now you and him might have pressure. The guard finds the tray, jumps it, goes in there, yells at the person in there. Now you and that dude might have problems because you got him in trouble. You see? So there's so much shit that can turn out happening just because someone cut the line that a lot of people don't really understand. If your ass is in that line, it don't matter if you're 10th in line, 5th in line, definitely if you're next in line, man, you address that shit if someone cuts that line. Straight up, bro. Don't let people play with you like that. Don't play, let people pimp you or, sh or shade no points off of your face card, man. Because I'm telling you, boy, that shit don't fly. And they only do it in places where they're picking faces. They only do it in places where they know they'll get away with it. Where they're in that real jungle, them real trenches, where there's real killers and smackers, people with knives that are really harming people and airlifting people, man, skipping won't even be in their mind. It don't matter how much of a rush they're in. They're going to go in there like a good little boy and stand their ass in line behind everybody else like everyone else is doing. You see what I'm saying? I've been wanting to touch this topic for a while, and I know a bunch of people have been asking me about it, but I decided to wait, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm glad I finally jumped to talking on it, you know what I'm saying? Because... You know, it was crazy here. I had to fight someone inside the county jail over them skipping the line. And I was fucking so far away from getting my tray. But it was just the principle that they was walking around like like they was untouchable. They were walking around like, oh, we ain't even care. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, boy, we don't give a fuck who's in this line. You know what I'm saying? Like, boy, we just gonna walk by them all, go up here and grab that motherfucker and go eat. Like, man, you got me fucked up, bro. That shit ain't happening. You see what I'm saying? Like, got myself in a fade over that shit. You know, a lot of times, man, you're going to find yourself in beef that you don't plan on happening. You know, beef's going to find you. That's why I say in these videos, for people who made it through prison, skated straight, straight through, no problems, nobody tried them, no nothing. Not saying everybody, but I'd say 9 out of 10, 9 out of 10 who made it through prison like that, turned, their, turned the other way when something happened. Or, or let something slide or, or didn't address some type of thing or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like it could be anything. You know, someone could come in your dorm and cause a fucking commotion and do something like that to where your dorm gets on lockdown and y'all don't get canteen. Right? You, you probably didn't say nothing to him. Me, I'd be like, hey, bro, check this shit out, bro. Like if I ran into him and he was coming to our dorm three days later to get us put on lockdown again if he gets caught, I'd be like, hey, bro, we got canteen today, bitch. I ain't with you coming back and forth in this dorm. You feel me? Last time we got on lockdown because of your ass. Ain't nobody else finna say nothing, but I'm gonna say something, bitch, because I'm real. You know what I'm saying? I don't really, you know what I'm saying? I don't like how you be coming over here like that, bitch, especially on the days we got canteen because we weren't able to hit the window because you. I guarantee you, nine out of ten people who made it through prison, with no problems, no commotions or anything like that. Let shit slide. And then the ones that say, nah, I made it through there, you know, without anything or anything, never caught on to the situation that was actually a situation that could have been addressed by you. You feel me? So you might sit there and think like, nah, hell nah, bro. I'm one of them one out of the 10 that made it and no one tried me or nothing like that. Because in your mind, you can't think of any situation where you were trying to let shit escape. But what it was is you didn't notice the situation at the time. You see what I'm saying? That's what it is. When you're when you're how I am, when you're going to call something out and you're going to address something, when you feel like someone's trying you, purposely trying you, or doing something that tries you also because they're meant to try the first person in line, but it tried you because you're in line as well, you got to address that shit, bro. And that shit goes a long way. It lets them know that they don't that, that you don't play. You know what I'm saying? And they're not supposed to play with you. You see, that? that's how it goes. And me being a white boy, I have to always go twice as hard. Put on twice as hard. I got to always find myself in a situation that could have just been avoided if I went like this. You see? I could have just been quiet. But then I'm like, damn, but then I'm the same as these other 15 people he just tried. Hell no, nah, I'm going to make it known like... I ain't, I ain't no pussy or nothing, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm telling you, bro, if someone cut your ass in that canteen line or that chow hall line or anything like that, man, you, you address that shit. You let them know, boy, I ain't on that shit, bro. 
Because some people be like, man, fuck that, bro, and still go. When you tell them, bro, you ain't getting no car check, bitch. I've been waiting in line for 15 minutes out here in this hot-ass sun, bro. You ask them get a car check after me if you want. I don't know what they finna say, but, bitch, you ain't finna just cut me like that. And they might look at you and be like, hell no, and go over there. Then you got to go over there and meet them at the window, bitch, and yank their fucking card out of their hand and get into them right there. That's You're going to have to get yourself in situations, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it sucks that it's like that, but... You know, you got a lot of ignorant people. You got a lot of people who just feel like they're bigger and better than everyone else. Everyone feels like they're the alpha male inside of prison. So if you do this much stuff, there's going to be someone that feels like they could do this much. And there's going to be someone that feels like they could do that much. And then that much. And then what it is, is everybody wants to be at the top. So everybody, there's just so much conflict and bullshit going on that people find themselves in problems. And a lot of it be to disrespect. And cutting people in that damn chow hall line is disrespectful. So if you want to come home without a mark on your face, with all your teeth still in your mouth, without no fucking stab wounds and stitches on you and ugly ass scars that marked up your body, don't cut nobody inside that chow hall line. Take it from me. But anyways, y'all, I'm going to wrap this video on up. I appreciate y'all tuning in like I always say. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button on the way out if you ain't hit it on the way in. Share the channel. Don't forget about k for all Gaming. I'm about to be doing some PS5 giveaways over there. I appreciate y'all like I always say. Make sure you keep them rat squares. Clowns, chomos, pedos, gunners, wannabe island boys, clout chasers, people with fake pull out goals that act like they got perms, people that make videos lying about people 24 7 because they miserable and they a bum. You already know. Keep them out your circle, man. Till next time, this the one and only Frog.